Come in, come in to 428 Chase. That's my channel. It's all about abstract art. Now, uh, I'm gonna, I've been working on this piece here, you know, for the last three videos. So this is actually going to be part four. Maybe I'll finish it tonight. Rather it takes, you know, uh, two videos to do it. Uh, I'm going to finish it tonight, I think. I'm almost done. Halfway through. Uh, I, I take that back. Even though half the page is covered, there's going to be a lot of little detail in there. Now I uh, I know this was uh, I wasn't trying to be deceptive by calling it a how-to video. It is kind of it still kind of is how to how to do abstract art with dip pens. Uh, but I really haven't. I'm not an instructor in art or anything like that. So uh, when it comes to the how-to part of it. I probably hadn't been that informative, but I have showed you some results. <laughs> but uh, all I can say as far as how to is is what supplies. I use uh, a series of dip pens. Dip pens are, if you're confused or not sure, don't know dip pens these are the pens that you dip into the ink well that's why they're called dip pens they're dipping into the ink now sometimes you get the ink in places that you don't want it to be like right now on my fingers uh, excuse me while I wipe them off but as I as I do that uh, I want to explain that the ink is India ink. Um, this particular jar you won't find. This this uh, I was really disappointed. This was the only ink that I bought. I actually um, I have my my last jar. Uh, the ink got kind of corroded around the edges and around the lid, and it really wasn't sealing. Wasn't a good seal, so I couldn't carry my ink with me like I used to, because uh, it would it would uh, drip out of the jar. So I, I got a new jar. I found it on Amazon actually, but the manufacturer uh, of the ink that goes this in this uh, jar, I think it's Schaefer. They they don't make they don't make them anymore, and it's a shame because. <laughs> The nice thing about this jar ink, I don't know if you can see it, but it has a little pocket up here near the top. And it has like a little glass ridge where you can wipe any excess ink off of your pen. Um, You can't do that anymore. Uh, so this is how Shaper art comes in now. A bottle, a jar like this. It has a lid. I mean, it has a, a little, it has a little pocket in there also. But it's plastic. And um, it does have little holes there uh, where you can try to dip, you know, wipe off your pen in there. But. For, you know, it just isn't the same for some reason. So, but at any rate, that's that's what I use. I use uh, that and uh, the type of paper that I use. Paper plays a big part. You know, you want something that. Um, 
you want something that it has some texture and it has some thickness. So your pen, your ink, like I said, it's not like a ballpoint pen. You got uh, free flowing ink coming out, um, but it does it, uh, you know, it doesn't absorb through. It doesn't, it doesn't uh, bleed through the paper. It's, it's, uh, uh, you can get some paper and you start putting ink down and you'll see it start to bleed. This here is a pretty good style of paper. And as far as how to, how to do your designs, well, just start, you know, like I said, I, I, I start with the white or broad pens, you know, I just start making some strokes with the pen, the curl here, you know, uh, and just, you know, you're basically starting from, when you start from scratch, you can do just about anything, but I started out making some bold lines, and then, then I used the finer tip pens to kind of work off, off of that to get in there and, and get into the tiny nooks and crannies and, and, uh, and, uh, like the, uh, I guess my style art, they, you know, it kind of resembles, um, I get what they call, uh, biomechanical or biomechanic art, the art of biomechanics. Uh, I can't think of the guy's name right off now, but a lot of inspiration came from him. It was like H.G. Geiger or something like that. Anyhow, he has some amazing work and, and uh, that's where I get a lot of my inspiration as far as the biomechanical style work. I also do, uh, in future videos, you'll see why uh, I like to call it my fort, not forte, uh, my fort. It's kind of my strong suit. Uh, what I uh, what I've done the most was, you'll see if you go back and look at my previous videos, I. I did the names of co-workers, you know, and then I did it in Old English letters using these, uh, these dip pens. This one, this one specifically, uh, it's the broader tip pen, um, and, uh, sorry if it doesn't, if you can't see it, but. If you're interested in, uh, like I said, getting a little more creative than you can with a, I mean, there's, I mean, I've seen artists use ballpoint pens and and they still, you know, clean my clock as far as, you know, how creative their art is with a ballpoint pen. I can't do it. However, um. Once I started using these uh, dip pens, you know, my intentions was just to learn the lettering. But then, uh, and then it dawned on me how in the old book, and a lot of books, you know, the first capital letter had your, uh, you know, your creative, alpha, uh, decorative designs around the letters. And that's how I got started into the abstract, because I can't draw anything that you really recognize. I mean, if I try really hard, I mean, I drew some butterflies, I drew a skull, um, but uh, those are hard subjects to draw, as simple as they may look. Um, however... You know, I, like I said, I can't draw you a horse, I can't draw you a landscape, I can't draw a portrait, I can't draw much of anything that you recognize, um, but that's where it is, uh, uh, that's why abstract is uh, very forgiving, you know, you're not out to, you know, draw anything that people are going to recognize, you're doodling. Basically, it's a doodle. Um, but uh, I got more into the. Uh, I got more into it because most a lot of people that saw what I was doing, this goes way back, you know, a good twenty years probably. 
um, you know, the first thing uh, most of the people would say to me is, do you do tattoos? And I don't. Um, but that's kind of the, that's, that's what a lot of people see in it. So, and, but, but like I said, you just pretty much, you get started, like, like here, I mean, I'm all over the place, because I, I was trying to cover a lot of territory uh, in my video, so they wouldn't be so long, so I kind of went a little crazy, I started my outlines, and like I said, I just started swooping around with the pen, like I said, now, now I gotta uh, I gotta go in there and fine tune it, you know. Put my detail in and try to try to make it, you know, try to make it look better. Uh, have a nice finished product, but uh, I'm gonna get started with this. I'm gonna uh, jam out uh, and uh, y'all. <laughs> Can uh, watch and listen.
All right, uh, that was uh, some free uh, non-copyright music that I was jamming to there. Uh, by the way, that's why that's what it is. It's uh, that's music I get, uh, uh, that I can get a hold of. That um, you know, there's no copyright claims, uh, strikes against me. So uh, some free music that YouTube offers for YouTubers. So here we go with another one. I kind of like this little jam here. Starts out sound a little bit like uh, Iron Maiden. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Thank you. 
Thank you. 
Okay, so this is probably one of the finest tipped pens I got right there. That, that's a that's a that's almost a needle tip right there. There's probably some needles that are thicker actually, but uh, but it's great for getting in the. You can do. You can go anywhere in the, on the sheet. You think that. It's just a minute area needs to make you can get in there with this. And it's great for uh, you know some people use it for uh, maps, uh, maps and cross hatching for shading and uh, that's uh, got many uses
Then I guess I'll wind it down. Wow. 49 minutes and I, <laughs> I didn't get a whole lot done. Still got a long way to go. Um, but uh, at any rate, uh, again, uh, I hope uh, if nothing else, you got some inspiration. Um, and like I said, as I say, I always say I'm my own worst critic and uh, and I see a lot of wrong with this. Some of it I can fix. Um, you know, I try to do like, you know, a rough draft. You know, I, I try to cover, you know, as much of the paper as I can. I'm going to be, uh, I'll come around afterwards and after everything is completed and all the ink is dry, I'll try to fine tune it a little bit. Looks like this, uh, either, either I'm going to finish this. Um, as I record, or I might work on it in between recordings, so, uh, that's what I did last time, after, after I was done recording, I, I did go in and I cheated a little bit, I, uh, added, uh, added some stuff to it after I stopped recording. But like I said, on a big project like this, and I don't have uh, the editing skills yet to speed through the videos. I know, uh, like I said, I know some people may not care to sit there for an hour watching me uh, put ink down and and not really uh, cover that much territory and it says uh, it, it takes me a long while I mean this um, you know to cover a page like this with the with the detail the fine tuning that I do it takes hours not just a couple hours it takes me uh, you know, you probably look at 10, 20 hours uh, one, one, uh, by the time I'm done with it. Because I don't, I'm, I'm not, I have to stop and and look at it uh, every now and then. And, but uh, at any rate, um, we'll zoom in one more time here for you. Try to See if we see anything new this time. So what think about the abstract art too? You know, I mean, it's a mess. Uh, a lot of people will look at it and say it's dark or it just really isn't nothing. But then you get people who are like tattoos, people who like tattoos, you know, they like, they'll like some of this, if not all of it. There's probably some areas there that, like I said, I'm my own worst critic. I, uh, I'm not happy, I'm not 100% happy even up to this point. Um, but I still see areas that kind of look cool to me. I mean, it may not look cool to you. Uh, they might. I don't know. But like uh, this area right in here, uh, which would be uh, like this this area right in here. 
to me looks kind of cool. So there's little pockets of uh, messiness that still looks kind of neat. At any rate, like I said, it's far from being done. I got to get busy on it. <laughs> uh, and try to, like I said, try to do something with it. But uh, I'm not going to do it here now. Uh, we've been on here, wow, 50, 55 minutes. Uh, that's the longest one yet. All right. Hey, uh, hey if you like what you see, though, I mean, uh, you know, hit that uh, like button. You know, if you haven't yet, subscribe. Leave a comment, good or bad. Um, and don't forget to uh, click on that notification bell so you'll know when my next video comes out. Thanks for stopping by for 28 Chase. Bye now. I don't know.